Hi everyone and welcome on this first video on my new channel. I would like it to be an official channel, we're going to see what YouTube says, but here we're just going to make a few tutorials and I'm just going to show you a few examples of the projects I'm working on. And as I told you in the title of this video, uh, I would like to teach you how to make a nice presentation on any video you could be working on. Here we're going to make a title insertion just like here. I'm, go I'm going to show you the final render and don't bother about the fact that here uh, these players are speaking in French. Uh, just take care about how the titles are inserted. Uh, so here we go. So we got the basic ID, everything is about freeing the frame. And we can then insert any title we would like to insert or any information uh, to present the person that appears in the frame. Here we've got someone who is being interviewed, but uh, obviously you can do that with any anyone who could appear in the frame and you just freeze the frame and all everything is about trimming um, the person in the foreground and making the background appear a bit blurry and in black and white just like here but anything is possible then so that's what we're going to do in this video uh, at this point uh, you can use your editing software here I'm going to use Adobe Premiere but it's not the point uh, what I want to tell you is that if you're working like us here on a 19 minutes interview uh, obviously you don't want to work with that uh, in your motion graphics software here we're going to work in Adobe After Effects and you don't want to work with a, a 19 minutes video in Adobe After Effects so just extract the part where you would like your titles to appear and here in this example um, this player is talking and then is the there is a blank in uh, what he is saying as you can see here and this very moment here would be a nice uh, uh, way to insert the titles so we're going to export uh, just this part uh, in uh, to Adobe After Effects and that's what we've done here we just have to go into Adobe After Effects then and here we're going to import the file uh, that we've uh, exported with our editing software so here we go just import that and here you're going to make uh, a new composition so just take your rush here and drag it uh, here to make a new composition when you've done that uh, uh, the first thing you would like to do is going to duplicate uh, your video file because at some point you're going to freeze the frame so you're going to choose the moment where uh, you would like the frame to stop. Uh, you could make a quick RAM preview using the zero key. Here we are, we've got the nice uh, blank. At this very moment we're going to freeze the frame so I'm going to cut the video file right here by dragging my video file at this very moment and I'm going to duplicate that by using Control D or Edit and Duplicate and here you just want to freeze the frame at this very moment so maybe you could work that way by dragging it on the right and at this very moment right here you want the frame to be freezed so you're going to take the file that you have duplicated and right click on it and then go on time and freeze frame at this point your video stops at this very moment and you would like it to continue maybe it would be nice so you're going to duplicate that again and you're going to uh, adjust that because here you've done a time remap remember uh, your time uh, is freezed here so just undo that by unchecking the time remap here so now your frame continues and you can drag it then on the right at the very moment you would like your video to continue it means that here you've got uh, some kind of bullet time we could say but we're not going to make any 3D but you've made a time freeze here you, your, freeze is, your frame is freezed and then it continues just like you want it if you make a RAM preview you can see the render when you've done that 
uh, you've done the basic uh, structure of your project. Now you're going to use the mask tool uh, to be able to make the person in the foreground appear and make the difference from the background and that's what we're going to do just right now. Just a quick remember of what we've done. We've got the first part of the video which plays just like we want it, then we created uh, a time freeze frame here and then we've got the video that continues and we can make uh, this time freeze the lens that we want we could make it lens maybe one minute if we want it but it would be uh, a nonsense but just to tell you that you can do whatever you want here so now we just need to use the mask tool on our second layer here because we want the player to be trimmed from from the background and to do that just use the pen tool that Adobe After Effects offers you it's not a third party plugin and you're just going to draw a shape around the player uh, to uh, make it appear uh, from the background in a different way so I'm sure that you guys uh, might have a lot of better way to make that here is just an example uh, uh, we're not going to make anything really precise but it's going to tell you the basic ID so maybe I'm going to cut the video and uh, get back to you when uh, I've done uh, the entire mask but as you can see anything uh, is really difficult here because the free the frame is freezed so my player won't move and my mask uh, will uh, keep its place uh, during the whole sequence so we're going to do that for the whole player and I'm going back to you uh, at the end when all the mask is done so here we are as you can see uh, I've finished my mask and it was not very difficult because there was not very much points to draw uh, at this point maybe we'd like to uh, select the file the layer that you'd be working on and hit M on your keyboard to make the mask parameter appear and as you can see here the mask in the add mode uh, so that it can make the difference from the background and just like we want it and at this point uh, we're going to duplicate our second layer by hitting Control D or by hitting edit and then duplicate and we're going to hit M on our keyboard with our, th with our new layer selected and here we're going to invert uh, the mask if, if we saw that we can see that then we just have the background and that's just what we wanted because then we can make um, the modifications we want in the background here we wanted it to appear in black and white so you can then go into effect then color col correction and black and white and maybe you would like to add some blur effect to make a really big difference between the foreground and the background so go into effect and then blend and sharpen and camera lens blur and as you can see here then the background is a bit blurry you could uh, maybe adjust the blur radius here so that it's going to make uh, all the parameters uh, uh, a bit uh, brighter and if you unsolo that then you can see that your player is in the foreground then it's uh, it's mask uh, make the difference from the background and that's just what we wanted then we can make any title insertion we want in our video because at this p at this time the player uh, is a uh, time uh, time freezed and then maybe you could go on into the frame and you can add the name of the player so here uh, obviously uh, it's a zero player from the game Starcraft 2 maybe can do that curity you could even add any picture that you wanted to add in your project uh, here uh, it's a zerg a zerg player so i know that i've got the zerg uh, logo here i can insert that into my frame uh, because it has a black background i can uh, make that appear into the add mode here so that is going to be uh, nice uh, in the frame and maybe you would like to make it a bit shiny so you could go there and into stylize a bit of glow to make it appear a bit brighter and here we are then you can make a quick a rough animation by animating the position of the text and maybe 
of the logo as well by selecting this layer hitting P on your keyboard you can make a keyframe by hitting the position chronometer here is going to make a keyframe here and you want that to be off frame so you're going to adjust the X position of your elements here because you want that to appear uh, just a few moments later so go on your timeline maybe one second later and animate the X position by making a new keyframe just like here and then your text is animated during that during the moment where your time is time freeze and then the video continues so maybe you would like your text to disappear on the right so go further on your timeline and then animate maybe uh, the X position to make the travel uh, all the way on into the left like here and maybe you would like your text to appear a bit blurry during uh, its animation like here so you're going to select your two layers here and you're just going to select the bl motion blur uh, that simulates as you can see the shutter duration it means that it's going to make uh, the simulation of the movement and you have to hit here uh, this parameter that enables the motion blur on your render frame and as you can see now the text appears uh, just like it was uh, really 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 fast and here it has not as it doesn't get any stop because <laughs> we didn't make the stop so we're going to select here our two keyframes uh, where we wanted to the text to be uh, stopped and we're going to hit control C or edit copy and go further on your timeline and hit control V now your text your text is uh, freezed in some way so that you can read that and if we if we make a quick run preview now we've done all the work it means that we've got a time freeze frame everything is really quick here so we're going to make it long, uh, last a bit longer but you've got the basic idea of what we've done uh, the text is uh, appears during uh, during a time freeze and that's what we wanted to do then we can export that and go back into our editing software and then we can make a few adjustments to that the text is going to appear uh, with sounds it means that when the frame is freezed here you can add any sound effect that you want just like we had in our example as you can see I've added some uh, swishes and impact sounds but you could do whatever you want then and then it has made of your title insertion maybe uh, something more dramatic and something more stylized uh, just like you could have seen in professional videos or any amateur videos when you want to present someone in a nice way and there was nothing difficult what right here we didn't uh, use any third party plugins and anything was difficult here we are just follow the other tutorials I'm going to make and have a good day.